All right, so here we have an ear. Let's look at what allows us to have the sense of hearing. The ear is divided into three primary regions. You have the outer ear, which goes from the outside all the way in to the tympanic membrane. You have the middle ear, which goes from the tympanic membrane and just includes the small region directly in here. Then you have the inner ear, which includes these internal structures here and is actually located within bone. Let's start with the outer ear and work our way in. Within the outer ear, there's two primary structures you have to know. The first one is the auricle or the pina. The auricle or the pina is what we think of when we think of an ear. It's the, out, it's the outermost layer of cartilage that acts as a cone to absorb, to collect incoming sound into the ear. Next we have the external auditory canal. The external auditory canal comes from the outside world all the way in here until it hits the tympanic membrane. So this whole region that brings in uh, sound is the external auditory canal. Next, as the dividing line between the outer ear and the middle ear is the tympanic membrane. It is not part of the outer ear or the middle ear, it's actually just the dividing line. This tympanic membrane, also known as the eardrum, and this is located at the end of your external auditory canal. Okay, within your middle ear now, there's several things you have to know. First off, you have the auditory or your station tubes. That is this long structure coming down here from the middle ear and actually draining into the throat. This allows pressure and liquid from the middle ear to be drained, and that prevents you from having pressure buildup, that, which causes ear infections. The next thing, you can see these small bones in here that are the ear ossicles. Let's look at some bigger models of those to see what's going on. So you can see a larger model of the ear ossicles. Now you've heard of these as the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup, but in anatomy they have better names. Uh, here's this one. This, this model, <coughs> this model, this bone is uh, the middle sized one. And this is called the malleus. This is what the hammer is when you were a child and learned about it. Then you see this largest one here. This is the anvil. And of course, the hammer hits right up against the anvil. So, of course, the anvil does have to be bigger than the hammer. So, the hammer is the malleus, the anvil is the incus. And this one down here, which most definitely looks like a stirrup is the stapes. So you have the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. The stapes is connected to the, the inner ear and it helps transmit vibrations in to transmit the signals. So let's look at the inner ear now. Right here where the stapes connects to the inner ear, hold on here, this area right in here is the vestibule. It's where sound first enters the inner ear. From there, sound is transmitted through these circular bones, which are called the semicircular canals. Sound is then sent over to this roughly snail-shaped uh, structure, which is called the cochlea. And from the cochlea, uh, the, the vibrations are transmitted through the vestibular cochlear nerve into the brain. And that's the end of the hearing.